umpires tonight, Stevick, McInerney and Mollison. Eddie Hayes and Ballantyne. Opening bounce is a good one. Sandilands waits for it, got it on the way down. Knocks it about 20 metres, coming up to meet it, Polo. Geary has it now. Geary got it from Jones, kicks down towards the attacking 50. Milne's in front. Inadvertently soccer's it out of bounds. That was a that was that was a bit of the aggro at the start of the game. That, that's what I was talking about with Sandland. Sandland's got the hit out, but St Kilda got the clearance. Sandland's over the top. Flicks it forward. Del Santo. Hand passes inboard. McPhee in trouble. Mazungu drops it on the boot. Well taken by McAvoy. McAvoy's high ball should be marked by Johnson and is. Takes his time. Oh, yep, okay. Main. So deep in defence, Main. Lovely kick to Pavlich. And that's how he gets his ball as a forward. There. Bruce pushing right up the ground, outrunning his direct opponent. And then a piercing kick. Mzungu loads it up. Quick ball forward. One on one. De Boer front spot out marked. Polo. Had to push back harder, De Boer. He just misjudged it in the air. Polo. Out towards the wing then from behind Kozetsky falls to his knees as he watches the ball run out of bounds. Saw De Boer and Polo matched up against each other. I was half expecting De Boer to play a defensive forwards role on hey, Sam Fisher, Fisher, but at this stage hey, that's not happening. Sandilands with strength. Now Hayes. Jones goes with the left boot. Ricochet is back to him, goes again. Well, eventually Revolt emerges with the footy, goes to Goddard, hand passes across towards Gilbert. Gilbert, interesting bounce, runs down towards centre half forward, long kick, vacant goal square, doesn't trouble the goal umpire, but goes Reece, out of bounds on Reece. the floor. Spot on, Dennis, it was a strange bounce. And uh, Pierce, who's been pretty impressive, hasn't he, this year? Fisher's hurt. Yeah, he's down, Fisher. So, just picking himself up. Stay there. Jack Anthony came in for Zach. net five. Back. Just winded, just winded, I Thanks think, Fisher will be OK. Thanks, Good kick into Barlow, and then Barlow creates some space. It's poor kick. Really gave a little chance to Wibbertson. Mzungu tries to get to Stephen. He can't. Stephen didn't panic. Milne going the wrong way. And did very well. And gets the ball out to Goddard, to Steve, and they're on here. Over the top, awkward half volley, eventually controlled by Kazetsky. Sends it down towards full forward, getting in in front and doing very nicely as Ballantyne. Three attempts now, St Kilda going forward and identified the free man of spare player. Pierce to Crowley. Still inside Play the defensive in. 50. And here the umpire, Crowley, under no real duress though, nurses the ball towards half back. The ball comes up, thumped away by Gilbert, goes out of bounds, so it'll be thrown in. Well, what's he done here? Richard? Yeah, an interesting matchup. We heard Tom talking about Matty Pavlich being more of a running hit up forward. Well, I think the Saints think that as well. With Dempster matched up on him, you probably necessarily wouldn't have picked that matchup. So Fisher does look to be okay, Dan. He's running around all right. Montaigne. Heard the call, Dal Santo, beautiful hand. Armitage, a goal kicker this year. Not quite this time. Ooh. She was a good kick. It was a Dal Santo kick. Thanks, David. And he really has got some poise now about him, Armitage, Ready? after struggling Ready? for a good shot there That's by it, there, the camera. He's been leading the competition for inside 50 tacklers, so his defensive pressure in that forward third has been really good as well. Wow. Big fly from Maine. Speaking of defensive pressure, De Boer got it to Hill, to half forward. Anthony did well, he just works in Kananda. Pavlich gets down low, he hasn't got the footy at the moment. Now, what will the umpire say? Well, we're seeing the free man. Shane, I'm going through, sorry, yes. Thank you, please. Seeing the free man to half forwards push right up, and they were able to have two on two in their forward 50. Loading up the back line at the moment, a Ross Lyon trait. Bounce about 40 metres out. Sandilands only as far as Jones. Jones from a South Fremantle player. Kicks it up towards the wing. Johnson. De Boer. Got out of trouble a bit too easily there. Kicks it down towards half forward. Juggled attempt at the mark by Polo. Who was intent on shepherding. Didn't go after the footy. Mundy across to Pavlich. Pavlich to space. Crowley a chance. Can go over the top to Clark. Clark. Oh, don't know about that. Yes. 
<laughs> as sure as you like. Got a bit of zip about him that Clark, hasn't he? He's big and he's tall well, and he's bouncing and athletic. Stephen Hill. Stephen Hill's a lot of movement at stoppages and Geary's getting in his way. Had the umpire there, was it? So Geary getting in the way of Hill. I think it's a bit of umpire communication yeah. because the umpires are wired up so they can hear each other talking all over the field. So I think that was a little bit of just be a little bit careful. Do you like Clark that Lee? I think he's a really promising uh, young player. Like he's got he's got life and movement, got good height. He's a good foil for Sandilands who spends most of his time on the ball. Gives you that really tall player in this in the uh, in the Fremantle forward line. Richo? Yeah, what happened there? Crowley has been on Del Sano. Del Sano came off the ground. Crowley stayed on, pushed forward on his own, and it resulted in him giving that goal off. Great play by Crowley. Gee, that was interesting. McAvoy, a beautiful tap to Hayes. And then Monday got it off him, but then the Saints got him down. Goddard, Simkin, they switch it. And then, gee, Dempster collected, but a good kick in the end. McAvoy's been very good early. That tap a moment ago, the play at half forward, and now this one as he kicks towards Revolt. And then McPhee coming in from the side and building it over the line. Well, I've been really watching this clip. We spoke about during the game with Ross Lyon and then with Dennis before the game about Sandlers. Now, it's six clearances to Nilda St Kilda. So Sandlers gets his hand to the footy, but at the moment, St Kilda, as a lot of sides do, are able to get the ball at ground level. Sandlers, clean possession that time. Got it to Ballantyne. He heard your lead. Ball back towards the middle. Mark is taken by Polo, who started well. Alongside the centre circles. Goes very long, did not look, could not have looked. Three dockers in the vicinity. McFarlane took the mark to Johnson. Broughton, now Pierce, towards half forward, over the head of Clark. It's three on one here. Favors the Saints, Polo again. Swings it to Montagna from half back short, Armitage. Man on in the middle. Malira, he decides now instead to come down the line. Armitage. Well played. Advantage paid there. He was grabbed by the leg. Malera comes into play this time, just peeling off a man who didn't run with him. So he's got the ball on the wing. Really going. The Dockers lead it by five. Short one. Hayes alongside the centre circles. Goes across the ground. Now Dempster. One bounce. Running it down towards half forward. Gone a long way. Takes something off the kick. Beautifully done. Disguised it very well. Fisher deep in the pocket, check side, slams it into the post. Well, the two genuine shots that Kilda have had on goal have been right from the pockets. The reason for this is that Fremantle is setting up extremely well defensively with a loose man. Every time they've tried to attack the goal face, they've been outnumbered by Frio defenders, and that creates indecision, as we saw with that forward build-up for the Saints. Gibalos kicks a poor one. Boy, particularly when you've got the 200-centimetre Ruckman near your target player, and it goes above his head. That's... That's a really bad kick in. So McAvoy hasn't missed so far this year. He's only had a couple of shots, but he's kicked them both. He's an, 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 well, so I was going to say he's an emerging ruckman. He probably did that a year and a half ago, yeah, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, but I mean, it usually most of the time it's mid-20s before yeah. they're really gun ruckman. He's, uh, well, got a few years before he gets to that stage. 22 years of age. He was a high draft pick. He was taken in the top 10. It's a straight kick, so... He's three for three this year, and the Saints hit the front. Well, he started very well, McAvoy. And that's what they needed. Sandilands certainly has a presence. And if McAvoy can get his share around the ground, and as you heard, they're winning the clearances, that will be a huge bonus. Council of War back in the middle by the Dockers, who need to get things a little better around these packs. Margin is two points. Just having a look at the Fremantle defence, and we've seen the two scoring shots from the pockets. We obviously got the turnover from McAvoy. Hands up there. That's Johnson, so he's identifying that Fisher's actually free at the other end of the ground. So far, Frio have been more efficient with their loose man. McAvoy knocks it down this time. Armitage beaten to the ball by Stephen. Came across to Goddard, hooks it towards half forward. Johnson was up, couldn't complete the mark. Oh, well done. Malira through the hand pass, came from Kaczynski. But eventually, the Dockers win it back. They're at hand pass from Malira. Johnson got it from McFarlane, kicks to midfield. Ballantyne, met solidly by Simkin, who knocked it down. Again, though, around the football. 
brought the chance for the Dockers. Mundy feeds it back. In trouble, Subin taken high. He'll get the free kick. Right, just come over no, no, no. Nathan Fife is out of the side. Jack Anthony has started on the ground. He came in for Fife. St Kilda are the one who with the seventh defender, so they, they're the one who set up that uh, that spare back to try and create some flow. Subban high ball towards the wing, off hands close to the boundary line, brought and upended, puts it out of bounds on the full. Just talking about Fife. We saw Bruce talking with him. Hopefully he's right for next week, but that could be a forlorn hope, I think. Whereas Ben Allen's number seven is what he wears, his old number. That number's known a few injuries in its time. Saints read it well to Hill. He did give me a bit of other good news, Dennis. Ballantyne through the centre. Oh, does he get it over the top? Dempster to Blake. Now, Blake looks up, uses his eyes. That's a clever mark. Geary's uh, having a good season. And not a bad kick either. He's got his skipper in the pocket. And then Revolt quickly comes back to Del Santo. Thanks, Michael. Say that, mate. Thanks for Mark. And the build-up, Bruce, was Jason Blake. So Jason Blake's playing the loose man. It's Sam Fisher and Jason Blake. Chris Mayne's going to Sam Fisher to make him accountable. Mayne will draw the ball himself, but it was Blake on that occasion who got himself in genuine space and created the loose option for St Kilda. He said, who are your best mates, sir? And he named a couple, including Morabito. He said, is he close? He said, he's very close, Morabito, oh, to coming back. So that's great news for the Dockers. As That's not so great news. He's a good kick, isn't he? Ross Lyon talked to Lee about him before the match. Del Santo goes. It was interesting when Lee uh, Dennis said, well, who are you going to tag? Do you go for the inside guys or the outside? He said, we've, we've picked out Dal Sando. He, he's the guy that we're going to go for. Last year in the corresponding game, the Zungu stood on Dal Sando and actually did the job on him, didn't he? He did a great job. I think he got the three votes that night in the Zungu on Dal Sando. But uh, this is now a good start for the Saints. I, I like the Dockers early, didn't you? But now the Saints with those couple of goals. Well, so, I guess that, that that midfield group of St Kilda players, was a, I think you don't want to be tagged, but you at least get the compliment, don't you, <laughs> when you're the one who does get tagged. And that was uh, Del Sando that Ross Lyon gave that backhanded compliment to. Saints by eight points then. Rucks go at it. Kaziski slaps it down. Taken by Mundy. Kicks it out towards the wing. De Boer slips a hand pass away. Just wide of Barlow. Picked up nicely by Del Sando to Hayes. Revolt. Full chested. That is the classical revolt as he comes to the football and it slaps him on the chest. Hits him like a fire hose, or he hits it. Jones, Geary, long ball down towards full forward. Kaczynski did the body work, then got hit in the face by the footy. It runs free at the back. Keeping it in, McPhee, well played. Drives towards the outer side. All Saints out there, though. Gilbert is about 55 metres out. Kicks into Mazungo. Ricochets across towards a play there in Geary. He was taken down. It was in the back by Subin. No, they play on. Malira at the base of the pack, pleading his case. And the umpire decides to ball it up. Richo? Yeah, well, one thing that's happening at the centre bounces is Brendan Goddard goes back, wants to be loose. Ross Lyon will not let that happen. He obviously rates him as a loose player. We know he put him there a lot himself. Every time he goes there, they man him up. Montagna run down by Mazungu. And then I think it's uh, Barlow. Can't really see. Somebody's there. And the ball up. So the one thing you are noticing please, is thanks. that when St Kilda Brendan, got the ball Brendan. in the middle of the ground, it's three okay, men okay. are really are pushing back hard into the back 50 to try and block block the space. So they're really attuned to that defensive pushback. It was Barlow. So Stanley just worked out of it by Clark. Crowley. And then Mundy. Is that out on the Brilliant, floor? Please, no. Brilliant, please. Boundary throw in. I was in your way. I was blocking your way. I feel like the Dockers need the next goal, though, don't you? I mean, they started pretty well, but Saints four yeah, shots to had, one. Had a really good five minutes, uh, St Kilda. Yeah, Dockers haven't got a good record here on the road. All those things. You feel like they do need to just hang on here and, and get the next one. Clark. Not so much for the 14-point margin to be, but more for the overall context of the match. The disappointing one for Frio, Bruce, was the kick-in where you sort of had the feeling that Fremantle Ryan, had started well Ryan. and then gave them one on a platter. So a bounce right half forward for the Saints. Stanley props in front, bounce favoured Clark, got it down to Barlow. Barlow, the hurried kick towards half forward. Pavlich is up, couldn't hang on. Missing the footy was Ballantyne. It's gone somewhere else. 
They're clattering around after it. Meantime, Geary has it. Came from Gilbert. Drives it out towards left half back Stephen. Suddenly, the Saints are looking sharp. The question has been raised this week. What have they beaten? Well, they're on song, at least for the moment. Subin gets in the road. Chops it off. Goes short to Pierce. The man who really has made the most of his opportunities. Hand pass from Johnson. Releases Mundy. 55 metres out. Way off target. Out of bounds on the full. Good to see Mundy back. Clearance play. Had four last week in only 50 minutes of play. Well, it came on uh, actually earlier than they expected anyway because Fife went off yep. last week. He was a sub. It was a good build-up by the um, Dockers. Poor kick in the end. Gee, Geary's been impressive. His efficiency, kicking efficiency in this first quarter has been fantastic, I reckon. A guy that kept playing for them but never made, played finals. Seen that Eddie always came... Oh, that's a bad throw in. <laughs> I think we take that one back. <laughs> there, what is, there is a low oh man off tackles. The, the ball is flowing so much. There hasn't been many packs. Mm. So there's just not, not many tackles being laid. Yeah, it felt like Eddie always came in for Geary late in the year and poor old Geary missed the finals, but he played one last year. Hill, piercing close. Broughton just squeezed it out. Bounce in port and beats a couple. Gilbert had to load it up a bit. He got it as far as he could. McPhee takes the mark, squares it, and Docker's chance to build. Ibbotson inside the centre square then. This crowd, a late arriving crowd, has really built up for Friday night. The kick goes out wide now. Here's a chance for Crowley. Aligns himself to the goal and bounces a throw. He's done that a couple of times now, Ryan Crowley. Pushed forward off Nick Dow Santo, set up the previous goal. Just watching him in the build-up, lurked his way through Boys, some both space. Both teams are having a loose man in defence. So uh, just watch for the blocks to allow the loose man to jump up. So we're getting some. I think uh, we're really getting some good umpire yeah. feedback and tonight. That was the umpires again alerting their teammates. The three three umpires. What's going? On? But yeah, just Crowley pushing forward, creating, getting a goal, creating another one. Uh, that was a good win, given that Del Sando got the goal down the other end. Tom, he's actually got a. He averages almost a goal a match. Mm. Not quite. I mean, mm. for a, for a stopper, he kicked five in one match. Mm. I think against Port Adelaide, but he's a. Uh, he can do some damage, can he? Certainly knows how to push forward. Played. Uh, numerous games where he's kicked multiple goals. So they got that goal that they needed, the Dockers. So here's this centre that uh, Lee's been talking about, these clearances. Sandilands first hands, where's it going to go? Johnson, Mundy's been busy. Round the corner, Pierce Polo, Ibbotson, good take, poor handball. Broughton free kick, no, he went down, but I thought Montagna might have been in his back. Sandilands, well done, McAvoy. Malera, really well done, Malera. Switches it out wide to Hayes. Lenny loads it up. Well, he doesn't do this. Well, I was going to... Oh, I was getting excited. <laughs> you know, I mean, Lenny doesn't kick those long ones too often. He's actually kicked five behinds this year and not a goal. I hate saying anything like that about Lenny. Well, there's a great article that Nick Santo wrote about Lenny Hayes during the week about everyone loves Lenny from a spectator point of view, but also internally at the club. It's a Big bit like Richo, isn't he? He's yeah, absolutely... He I'd love to be like that. It's a bit that look in the mate, Lenny. <laughs> Duffield to himself. You've got to remember, kick it to yourself in that situation when the umpire calls play on. You can't afford to panic. It's inside the centre square. Spills wide of the congestion. Down goes Jones. Trying to dig it out of there was Hill. Fisher stood up in a tackle. Blake did well. Gilbert feeds it back. Opportunity for Goddard. Runs down towards right half forward. Long kick. Kazitsky trying to work to the front. Outmaneuvered by Johnson. So man to man, Johnson's done very well in a couple of duels with Kazitsky. This ball bounces to Pavlich. Pavlich comes up towards the wing. Crowley's got open space ahead. Takes the mark. Can't afford to go short. Kicks it over the leading main. Letting it bounce and run on is Anthony. First back though is Newmes. Newmes gives a hand pass. Or Newmes rather. Gave a hand pass across towards a teammate there in Simkin. He's over the footy. Mundy takes it across the line. Just at this point of the game, the high... High balls into the forward line. It's the uh, defensive team that are in control of those high ones. So, match been played mainly in Securitas end. Holding Ballantyne free kick. Ballantyne. Straight to him. Right out there. Nate. Clear heard, out, guys. You heard from Danny Sexton. Don't give Clear him free out. kicks. Already won. And don't talk to him. <laughs> Maybe that he's not there. <laughs> well, they're going to love this, the Saints, because he's kicked it straight into Armitage. See whether they give him a bit of lip. 
since you've got, you've got to identify players that actually react badly to being spoken to, it just maybe Ballantyne likes that kind of sort of thing from opponents, so leave him alone, don't talk to him. Hey sort of throws it out, Mazungu took a couple of the tacklers on. Oh boy, is that that last stop one. in? <laughs> he got another one, but no one spoke to him after he kicked into the man in the mark, so they were disciplined to what Sexton wanted then. So here is Ballantyne, now he keeps it low to the full forward line. Not a great oh. kick, but a big miss by Fisher. Blake. Noons can't get it away. Anthony had the chance with the five pulling out. High ball. Broughton can't get a run. Well done, Goddard. Free kick. Oh. Just held his ground, Goddard. I thought he was going to play the block then because he looked like he was blocking the Fremantle player from going for the ball, but got the free kick for being held. Entertaining start to this game. Goddard takes off out of the back pocket, drives it very high, just short of the wing and close to the boundary. McFarlane got hands to it, couldn't complete the mark, and from those hands it rolls across the boundary line. It's the Blues, didn't they play? We've, we've got that match next Friday night in your hometown. Mm, the forward scouts having a look at Frio. After the throw-in, we'll get a ball up. I think Brett Ratton's got a pretty big week at home too, Dennis. I think there's a little one due. Still at the footy, eh? Just doing his job. Sandilands knocks it down. McAvoy smothered off the boot. Broughton did well. Ibbotson towards half forward. On the lead, Anthony. Couldn't hang on. Humes gave it back. Fisher. And now Geary. Well, Scotty Waters has put him down deep in defence and he's looking terrific at the moment as Fisher goes close to the boundary line. Montagna will get a free. So, Lee... Didn't get the ball, he's got the arms. Early look, is, is it a bit like dancing with your sister? Do you feel like that, you know, Ross Lyon coaching against Ross Lyon or very different? <laughs> oh, a little bit, but both sides are getting players aggressively back in defence to help their you know, actual defenders. That's uh, why scoring's difficult. So, McFarlane... Duffield just has to retreat, comes out wide, it's a good kick, and Hill really should have taken the mark. Jones covers him and forces the turnover. Dalsado's hands were beautiful. Montagna licks his lips and goes to the chip and Revolt marks it. Stephen Hill had to do better. It was all to do with the rebound. If Hill marks the footy on the way out, uh, Fremantle end up at their forward line, but when that turnover happened, then the, the Fremantle defence was lost and uh, Rewild was able to jump at the footy. I've got to say there, Bruce, didn't hold his head up, ducked the head, dropped the mark. He knew the tagger was there probably. Yep. He sort of knows the Jones pressure is going to be there. That's what he has to work through to make the most of his talents. He's 5-5 five, five this year from set shots. Make that 6-5 and the captain kicks them away. Well, just that turnover, very costly. Montagna swept on it from Dow Santa. And revolt. Lovely mark. So a good kick for Nick. Those important shots for him, really, aren't they? Get his confidence up. It's been going well this year. So the Saints, a little bit of breathing room. It's 21 to 12. Well, we've seen this a million times over the years. A contested mark to Nick Rewalt. That's the difference in the game at the moment. Five marks inside 50. The Saints, zero. The Dockers. Nick Del Sano had a part in that goal. He set it up on the wing. His tagger Crowley was on the bench and he was furious he couldn't get on. Pavlich did well. Sandilands back to Pavlich. Pavlich trying to widen things a little, create a little space. Eventually, Ibbotson has it, feeds it forward. Now with the run, it's Barlow. Inside the forward 50, well worked. That was tight in there, and the Dockers, with quality players handling the football, you've got to say, able to work it around, eventually create their space. That's the one that really set it up to Crowley. Well, you got the sense, Dennis, that uh, Ross Lyon really needed a centre clearance. Threw his skipper in there, he did the work, and Main there taking the mark shows the advantage of just playing in front. So Main directly in front. Stephen Hill, I'm sure, will be reminded by the coach about that marking attempt. I hope his brother wasn't watching. His younger brother, he'll make his debut. And Fremantle put that behind them and Maine kicks a goal. Well, Maine also, early stages this year, hasn't missed a, a shot, a set shot or any shot. That goal this year, he's a, 
Interesting player, mate. Now, it might be a free kick here. Mike, Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Hey, hey, Jacob. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Jacob. He's slung him down the ground with the hand around his neck. Mark's here, right? Ten die, that's the line. Tell you, why did he come at me? Hey, it's all right. It's up to you, knock no, Stephen. No, he didn't go the high. So there's a free kick here. The ball hasn't gone back to the centre. No, it's against Polo. Look at the far left corner. So here we go. Nick, Nick, walk it out. So, Thank you, mate. Matty, Matty. Right to the footy, so the goal to Maine, three point game. Mzungu gets a shot at goal Matty. from, I guess, about 50 metres. Against Polo, just outside 50. I don't think he's got the distance or the accuracy. Oh, oh. Main got up high, and it's a behind. Well, you could have put your glasses down when you've seen there's a free kick turned around after a goal has been scored and see that Hayden Ballantyne would have been on the end of it. But uh, it was Polo who um, who infringed against Mazungo, wrapped him around the neck, took him down. So Johnson couldn't quite, and then a boundary throw in. They've cleaned up the clearances all of a sudden. Uh, there's now eight in free medals, favour to St Kilda, seven. Remember, St Kilda got the first six, so they're actually doing much better at extricating the ball. Not necessarily breaking away into space with it, but eventually at least getting it forward off these stoppages. Watch what happens here then. Sandilands directs it down. Missed by Jones. Swooping on the loose ball is Stephen. Slips it back. Armitage. Stephen in trouble. Well done, Ballantyne. Arrived quickly. Stifled the hand pass and it ricocheted out of bounds. I must say, when I have a look at this ground level, I don't think it's Sandilands in the ruck. I think the ground level players for Fremantle just don't get on the move mm -hmm. sufficiently to give him a moving target off his hand. That was line ball. Armitage kicks it straight up in the air. Pierce the leaper. Ran kindly for Goddard. Looks across the ground. Now this will set the youngster coming off halfback. Newens in motion. Will sort off. Had a bit of a fumble. In fact, he fumbled twice. The second one helped him. Runs away from Anthony and then proceeds to blast it out of bounds on the fall. Oh, Gabby will want to see that back. So disappointing result. So Dawson out. Could be on here, the Dockers. Crowley looks up, waits the kick, asks a lot of Clark. Geary commits very well and keeps his feet. That's a big play. Well done. Took off, rode the bump and got it to Simkin and then to Dempster. Barlow can't get a run at it. Polo held his ground and then Fisher over the top. Montagna busy. High ball down the line. And that's uh, McAvoy holding on to Duffield. Duffield's toe poke was clever. Dawson runs out. Is it out of play? It is boundary throw in. I don't know whether it's Ross Lyon like in terms of style, but Fremantle is certainly prepared to attack from outside into the centre square to straighten up before they go uh, go forward. So they're having a go in there. Sandilands decisively. Wonderful takeaway that time. Barlow got it from De Boer. Kicks it down towards half forward. Main, Mzungu. It's one out. Well, somehow the position's reversed. Anthony was behind where the football went. Fisher, who was in front, got behind and led the race back across the goal line. Mm -hmm. Well played by the St Kilda veteran. Did a good job. Jagiri's had a great opening mm -hmm. term. Gets it wide to Blake. He was always a favourite of Ross uh, Blake. He played him for a long stretch because he's got that unenviable record, Blake, hasn't he, of so many games and not a you-know-what. Here's Stephen at half-back. Kicks to Cozzi. Oh! oh! Almost. And then Stevie on the run. About... Well, it's out of play. Been a good week for the Blakes, though, Bruce. Maybe he got his inspiration last Sunday night. <laughs> it's a long way up when you're jumping on that. Is that? back. That is a great leap. Outstanding. You might be right, Dan. That's an editorial comment late in the first quarter. Oh, well. And gee, uh, yeah, yeah, right. it was a last little bit of movement by Miriam. So, right in front of Dennis, this is as Hayes kicks forward. I should be able to spot it then as Hayes kicks inside the forward 50. McFarlane goes back. Dawson, who was hurt, got up, gets down again. He's hurt again. <laughs> Meantime, it comes across to Duffield. Duffield up towards the wing. Oh, terrific. Well, almost McAvoy. Almost plucked it at the top there. Taken by Simkin. Touched off the boot. Rebolt got the call late because he tried to mark it. Barlow. Slips a hand pass away to Dawson. Dawson shows too much of it to Gilbert. Oh, that's 
That's his big one, the solar plexus there. There's a bit of it going around. Thanks. Dawson, now Barlow. See the downside of actually going from outside in if you uh, if you miss your target and the opposition interceptor in trouble. Oh, Gilbert, clock running down, that's a good effort. So the defender slots a goal. Do you remember when we all thought Gilbert might play as a forward after the 2010 final series? There was a, a real chance that. Gee, you think of the Dockers in this opening turn. He was taking all right. He's letting you know it's morning. It goes both ways. Stevie, just in that, in that scenario, you can only give it away. Yeah. All right, so don't reverse think, it around. Think of the goals. Barlow's poor kick. As well. mm. Any poor kick from Dawson. You've been He'll drop some mark. We can pay a free kick. If it's really good turn. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we're just letting you know. If we see it, we'll pay it. What's that? Okay. So there's the little hit on Dawson. It was a poor kick from Dawson. He had a man wider. He should have gone there. Stevie just pulls himself up. So, gee, they've gifted three goals here, particularly two. Uh, the Dockers, Saints go forward. Kaczynski handball straight to Pierce, to Broughton. And then Broughton off a step. McAvoy's had a terrific opening turn and takes the mark. Deep in this first quarter, Saints lead by seven. They'll be prepared to milk the clock here. Well, they've got one last crack, maybe, Tom, at a, a forward thrust, but that ball wide and out. This, this female defender Close. seemingly sort of going uh, to ground a little bit regularly. There's a lot of blocking going on in St Gilda Ford, I reckon. There's a lot, of, a lot of pinball going on where bodies are bouncing off bodies a little uh, when the ball's down the other end of the field. Just saw Scotty Waters down. I reckon he must have had one of those weeks. that line, Luke. What about Start me? That you know? That's it. Uh, well, anonymity wouldn't have been a bad thing this week, I don't think, Bruce. <laughs> Yeah, I guess there's been a few headlines. He's one of those guys who can stay under the radar. <laughs> and Amita, that's it. He's about three inches taller than I am. He's Monday in the halfback flank. I've enjoyed this opening turn. Long kick down the line. So a good quarter footy. Coming in tonight, you felt it was an intriguing match, and the first quarter has lived up to all of that. Lots of plots, subplots. St Kilda... As I said, uh, gifted by a couple of goals by the Dockers, and they've got their nose in front of quarter time. Friday night footy, good crowd under the roof at Eddie Had. It's the Saints leading against their old coach by seven points.